Hey, what's going on? Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, whatever time, whatever time it is that you're joining in, it's all good. Pastor Rick here for Proverbs chapter 10, Wisdom in October. October 10th, we go to we go to Proverbs chapter 10. We're doing one chapter of the book every single day this month and <clears throat> we're going to put out a video we're going to put out a video every single day so hope you can uh, subscribe to the channel click the little bell for a reminder and uh, and join in with us every single day try to keep them you know in that five minute five to ten minute kind of range so it's not too hard to track along not too hard to carve that time out but more importantly i hope that you're making time to dig into the word of god yourself every day reading the chapter <clears throat> journaling praying through it asking god what he wants to show you and so man uh chapter 10 has a lot of good stuff in it i have uh at least half the chapter um highlighted already and so um it was kind of hard to pick out what to talk about <clears throat> so that means that you're going to need to check it out for yourself and then drop it in the comments, the verses that are specifically speaking to you today. And I'd love to have that conversation happening in the comments as well. And so I have three verses that I want to point out to you today out of the 32 verses. So I'm going to give you a tithe, a tithe of the verses from the chapter. And I just want you to uh, think about it, mull it over a little bit, see what the Lord's speaking to your heart. So the first one is verse three it says the lord will not let the righteous go hungry but he denies the wicked what they crave and and so what an incredible verse that is you know the lord will not let the righteous go hungry and but i think that if we stand back or sit back or lean back i don't know we could we could probably think about somebody that we've known that we would qualify them as among the righteous people that are faithfully following after god and yet we have seen them maybe go hungry, maybe fall on hard times. And so then you can think, well, gosh, is the Bible not true? Is that verse not true? And, and I think that just in the book of Proverbs, we are um, capturing pithy sayings that convey a basic principle of truth. Um, it doesn't mean that they are exactly, exactly true in every single situation, in every single moment. And so when you, when you read that verse about that the Lord will not let the righteous go hungry, it's kind of the overall overarching promise that God will provide for his people. And so even though right now in this moment that person might be hungry, they might be struggling, it doesn't mean that they should abandon the ways of righteousness because if they continue on, you know, if you don't grow weary in well-doing, you'll reap if you faint not. And so I think it's really important for us to remember the truth of it, even when our current circumstances uh, seem to be betraying the truth. And so I just want to encourage you, no matter what, maybe, maybe you're somebody that's in the middle of one of those kinds of situations and it's causing you to kind of question a little bit, to kind of step back a little bit. And I want to encourage you to dig in and I want you to encourage you to pursue the Lord and seek after him and actually uh, get a hold of him in that season. Because I know one of the things he always wants to do is he always wants to reveal a little bit more of himself to us in the process. And so let's respond that way. The, so that was verse three. Moving on to verse nine. The one, verse nine, the one who lives with integrity lives securely. So, um, you know, when I look at the Lord will not let the righteous go hungry, uh, just talking about the faithfulness of God, I had something written down here in my notes um, of just just being just being steady ourselves, steady in our walk, even when even when current circumstances are looking a little fishy. And then the next word is integrity. We want to be people that are in t full of integrity, people who are the same people when there's tons of people around and when there's nobody around. When all the people are looking at you and when nobody's looking at you, are you the same person? So we want to be steady people that are not 
you know, thrown off by a temporary setback or a circumstantial interruption to our plan. And then we want to be people of integrity so that our way can be set securely. But whoever perverts his ways will be found out. And it really is true. When you live a life of integrity where you are the same person, whether a hundred people are watching you or whether nobody is watching you and nobody would ever find out what you're doing, then it causes your life to just be secure and and much easier because you don't have to keep track of things. You don't have to worry. You don't have to worry about being found out about anything. And so the life of the integrity and in, of the integrous person is secure. And I, I want to invite you into that kind of a life. So we want to be steady people and we want to be people of integrity. And then verse 17 says, the one who follows instruction is on the path to life. And so the last word that I want to just drop in your heart is humility. One of being a learner, being willing to learn from other people because the one who follows instructions is on the path to life. So let us not be the kind of person that just thinks they know everything. They got it all going on. So the Lord is going to provide for those who are righteous that are following him because he will not let the righteous go hungry. The way of the integrous, the of the integrity, the integrity of the righteous creates their lives to be secure. I don't know why I'm struggling with that word so much tonight, uh, but I am not, but I am not going to re-record. You're just going to have to deal with it. So, but anyways, um, just want to remind you of those things. And then we want to be people that are humble, humility, clothing us and being willing to learn and grow from those that we trust and respect. And, and sometimes even people that it surprise you that they're teaching you something. And so I just want to um, drop those three words, steady, integrity, and humility, that we would be a people that would reflect all three of those things today because we want our God, we want to serve our God with steadiness and faithfulness. We want to be a people of integrity and we want to be a people that walk in humility and we're willing to learn so that our ways can be established and we can be on the path of life. So with that, God bless you. Read today, journal today, and then drop in the comments something that God's speaking to you. Uh, God bless you. Have a great day and I will catch you tomorrow.